Hi, I'm Jo and welcome back to my channel. And today I will present to you my massive TBR pile because I have no idea when I'm going to read those books because there are new books constantly coming out and some other mangas that I want to buy that I also of course want to read but you know like my TBR pile is just kind of consists of books that I'm not that excited for and that sucks. I wrote down all my TBR pile here in this little book that is also really sweet, you know? Um, anyways, that's not what I wanted to talk about. My obsession, obsession with notebooks is a whole nother thing. So, my TBR pile, the first one that I wrote down is the Wolves of Mercy Falls series by Maggie Stiefvater. Stiefvater, whatever. Um, this is a book series that I read at some point, I think it was two years ago or three already, I don't know, some time ago at least. Um, and this year, yeah, I think it was this year, uh, they were on sale, like the whole series, also with like that extra book, with those, uh, with like with that um, additional story. Um, and I got all four of them in a hardcover version um, for 20 euros. And that is cheap as fuck. Like, wow. <laughs> um, I don't know, that is probably uh, very high on my uh, list. Because it was a nice series and I want to read it again. Um, then the next one is the remaining Narnia books by C.S. Lewis. Like That would be the fourth to seventh one. I am currently on book three. But not really continuing the series as I am kind of struggling with it. Then there is Mary Stewart by Friedrich Schiller and King Lear by Shakespeare to just get some classics into this. And I also enjoy reading this. Like Shakespeare in English is so funny for some reason. Like in, in German it's okay. It's sometimes even exhausting to read it. Like, for example, um, what I read last year, uh, Othello? I read Othello and Macbeth in German, and Macbeth was fun. <laughs> it was a fun read, but Othello, like, Othello was sometimes kind of weird, weirdly phrased, and I probably would have understood it better if it was in English, but I don't know. Um, then I also bought a book. Uh, together with like Maria Stewart and King Lear, and it is uh, um, the letters from Madame de Pompadour. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was the uh, like the concubine from oh, from which French emperor was it? I forgot. Anyways, she was like this really uh, like she had uh, a lot of influence on her. Uh, lover. I, I, I'm so sad, I, I'm so disappointed in myself, like I'm a history major and I don't know who she is, like uh, like which king she belongs to. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, then I my uh, list is next is a German book. I don't know, I don't think it has an English translation and it's, uh, it's well, in German it's Ein Himmel aus Lavendel. And in English, it's kind of like a sky made of lavender. And I, that was usually, uh, actually a Wattpad story, not a fanfiction. I wanna like point that out especially, it was not a fanfiction. It was an original story uh, from uh, uh, by Malena Anders. And I really enjoyed it and I, I wanted this book for so long. And now I bought it this year on I bought this year. Um, then I have also two um, Jane Austen books. It's one is Northanger Abbey and the other one is Mansfield Park. And I'm probably gonna read them uh, after Wolves of Mercy Falls. And then what do we have here? Uh, Winnetou by Karl May. It's, I think that also counts as a classic. 
but I am hesitant to read it as I usually don't really enjoy like those kind of it's I think it's kind of Western uh, Western book um, I don't know I, I, I don't like those like you know those movies where they are just like with those guns and horses and cowboy shit and I don't enjoy them that much so I'm kind of putting it off reading this book uh, but I got it because A it's a classic and B it was like one of those um, what do you call them like boxes where you can uh, give a book to them and you can get a book those I got them there and like like the version is actually kind of pretty so I thought yeah why not you, it, it doesn't hurt to have that book uh, then uh, is I SPQR by Mary Beard and it's obviously a, like a, it's a book about the Roman Empire and I probably will read that next after I finish my two current books that I'm reading it's probably yeah 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 I think I will read it next because my history heart misses the ancient ancient Rome ancient Greek period because sadly I won't have that anymore like I finished like the uh, the lectures and Maybe if I specialize in that, then I will have it again, of course. But until then, no more ancient Rome for me. And then I also, uh, the last book on my TBR pile is uh, The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. And I got this from one of my grandmas uh, some years ago. I think two years? I think I got it in 2017. It's kind of sad. But it's also a big one. I think it has over a thousand uh, pages. So I don't really uh, like. I don't like books that are like over a thousand pages. I like books that are like six hundred to eight hundred pages. Those are ideal if I enjoy them. If I don't enjoy them, then that sucks, of course. But usually that's like my ideal length. And like over a thousand, it's just like oh my god, it, it just sounds like like heavy. It sounds heavy and not really enjoyable. But I, I read some reviews while googling the English title of this one and and now I, I want to read it more because people were like oh my god she's so cool and she writes so interesting um, she also got several praises for her writing and also my mother has some books uh, that were written by her if I'm not mistaken and yeah we'll just see also I kind of have to read it because it's from my grandma <laughs> You know, and I feel kind of bad that I still haven't read it, but I guess she probably will never know if I don't tell her directly because A, she doesn't uh, really like I me, mean, she's a grandma show, so in, like, the internet is not really her thing and she also doesn't speak English well enough. I don't think that besides hello and I am my name is, she doesn't speak anything. Anyways, that is my whole TBR pile. I also have like five books that I'm currently reading, so yeah, but we're not going there uh, because like three of, well, we are going there. Three of those books uh, are books that I just kind of lost interest in, and that is uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Then it's the third Narnia book that I mentioned before, and A Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. It's just like Josh R. Martin's book is not what I expected, but I still like I want to read it because it's uh, it's a part of the Song of Ice and Fire world, and I really love it, and like I want to get more of the lore, but I just you know I just want to know it, but I don't want to have to read it because it's, well I don't know I don't like that like the writing style of this one it just seems different from the Song of Ice and Fire. And then the books that I will actually finish is uh, Romeo and Juliet by, um, well, of course, Shakespeare. And um, uh, then Stormy Seasons, The Heritage by Charlotte Link. Yeah. And then I will probably read uh, SPQR by Mary Beard. I hope. Maybe until then there is another book out that I'm gonna read first. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. But with it, I try to stick to that. So, that was my TBR pile. Do you know any books from there or 
if you want to read it, have you read any of them? If so or if not so, just tell me, write it down in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video and bye!